All right, everybody, welcome to Super Smashers. We're going to be playing uh, Until Dawn today, but I wanted to take a second. Um, I know this is very early in our uh, our channel's life cycle here, but um, we, were, we were going to record this uh, a little bit later. We were going to do it a couple of weeks later, but uh, we had an unfortunate circumstance, so we had to kind of bump this up to a little quicker. So I wanted to dedicate this whole playthrough and basically the creation of this whole channel to... Uh, to my cousin Greg, who had uh, recently passed. So, this one's for you, buddy. And uh, I'm here with my cousin Kyle. Greg would be his uncle. And uh, you got something to say, buddy? Yeah. Um, I, uh, well, I was supposed to, like he said, I was supposed to come here a couple weeks later. We'd start this whole cycle. And, uh, well, unfortunately, my, our, my uncle passed. And, uh, you know, I had to twist so many arms to get up here. And, uh, Unfortunately, it's it's sad to see him go, but you know we can go forward knowing that he will be remembered. Yeah, and he'll always be with us, taking care of us, right? That he will. All right, good stuff. You ready to play this game? <laughs> well, I'm, it's not like I've got a choice. All right, this guy has no idea what this game is about. I have played it. I have no intention of helping him in any way. I want him to see if he can uh, if he can get the perfect run through that very few people have been able to achieve so far. And supposedly that. I'm going to fuck up. <laughs> Just a little bit, possibly. Uh, I might try to hinder you, maybe, or maybe I won't. I'm not sure. So, what uh, you're telling me is I can't trust you. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I will tell you is, and I'm, I'm going to be totally serious about this, I will tell you where there are the twin clues. Not where they are, but just how many are in a chapter, because they can be a pain in the ass to find, and you do kind of need them. For the proper ending. For the proper ending, yeah. And we're just trying to, you know, since we're on kind of a time crunch, uh, we just wanted to speed it up. All right. So without further ado, and no more mushy stuff, let's get into the game. New let's story. Let's start that story. New story. And let's go over that because I... Fuck it. Yeah. Now we're going to get started. We're going to see this amazing cinematic right here called The Butterfly, butterfly Effect. effect. Ashton motherfucking Kutcher up in this bitch. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane tomorrow. You know, it's kind of weird that that always seems to be the truth. Like, you see something that's, like, really, really small, and then you don't think about it, but, like, ten, friggin' ten weeks later or something, so, you're so, like, God I, damn it. I was gonna say, it sounds something like uh, Captain America left his uh, buddy old pal, Bucky Barnes. Yeah, right? That's kind of what that is. Yeah, a couple uh, years later, like, you know, many, many years later, oh, hey, now he's like, a Winter Soldier and he fucking yeah. hates you. It's like, guess what? I got a metal arm and I can punch your fucking shield out of the air. <laughs> that was a great movie, by the way, I'm just saying. Yes, yeah, very great movie. As, uh, and uh, Civil War is coming out next year? I do believe. Uh, I have no idea if it's going to be any good. The um, There was, like, a leaked script, I believe, and it sucked ass. Well, it was I don't like sucky ass scripts. I yeah, actually like know, story. Yes, ass sucking is not a good thing in most circumstances. <laughs> I, I would think. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's th not there's really some there's thing. some strange people out there. Don't get me wrong. That is very true. And if that's your thing, that is perfectly fine. You we will enjoy, not judge. Yeah, we will not judge on that. It's not my it's not my bag personally. But if you like sucking ass, it's all good, man. It's all good. So yeah, so we're in this uh, cabin in the woods, if you will. <laughs> uh, not saying it's like that type of movie, right? There. Oh, oh shit! Oh, hey, it's Mister Machete yeah. Man. Yeah, apparently Jason Voorhees has decided to, uh, you know, go and visit these '80s teens right here. '80s teens with somehow photorealistic faces and I would assume breasts. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, you know, the graphics in this game look freaking phenomenal. I don't know if it's just me. Um, I think they look excellent. <laughs> I mean, that like. Because that's Hayden Panettiere right there from, you know, Heroes and all that jazz. And she was also the little girl in Remember the Titans, which is weird to watch nowadays because it's like you watch it and you're like, holy shit, every man in America is going to want to bone this little girl in like five, six years. Yeah, they, yeah, I guess that's the truth. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. But yeah, her face is very much, uh, yeah, very simple. What the hell is with her face, though? That was the weird like, smile. Dur. Yeah. Like, they, they do kind of give a little bit of weird smiles. That's um, that's something I even noticed with, like, because this is very, like, heavy rain-centric. Right. Now, yeah. you you mentioned that when I was coming here. That I was asked, is this very, is this, like, heavy rain in terms of gameplay? And you're like, oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It is very, very heavy rain, which 
I'm just great with. I fucking love Heavy Rain. Heavy it's, Rain's an amazing game. It yeah. always will be. I really, I would love to see a movie of Heavy Rain. Like, it always seemed like such a great story. But that the, I'm just, the thing is, yes, it was a great yeah. story, but it was such slow pace in the beginning. That's true. And uh, we're playing the feud. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to just throw out Danny Sexbang terms there. Ah, oh, look, uh, Game Grumps, if you're watching this, don't hate us. We love you. Yeah, we, we really do. You know, I'm I'm not wearing an NSP t-shirt right now, but I do have one, and I fucking Hold love R2 it. Hold R2 to pick up the note. Yeah. Okay, that's the note. Dude, look at that learning shit Hannah, hey, right hey, you man. look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hot better out of it. Oh, yeah. He's coming yeah, to the guest right. room at 2 a.m. Hey, mind you, he put the triple X at the bottom. That means he's <laughs> fucking serious, yeah. or he's possibly played by Vin Diesel. Oh, oh, winky face, man, winky oh, face. Oh, dude. We don't even know. It's serious now. We, like, yeah, seriously. Like, that's not even on my level. And you that's, call your sister naive. That, yeah, that's, 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 that's kind of bitchy. Uh, I would like to point out that, uh, when, you know, since we did say that the graphics were so amazing, she's wearing yoga pants, and they look like real yoga pants, which is great, because and yoga pants... Just, are the, just look at that. Oh, yeah. Look like, at I, that. I'm just saying, yoga pants are possibly the greatest invention of all time. And we are we're perfectly okay with that. Fuck the camera. Yeah, yeah, it gets like that sometimes. It's actually, I had a thought when I played this game. If it was a little more action oriented, and they actually gave you like a way to like hold a weapon and whatnot, it would be amazing. Because if they did a Resident Evil game like this, the graphics would be amazing. They'd have this very tense atmosphere. It would, be, it but would, but you know, shout out to Jeremy Craig. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Jeremiah Craig. That real whiskey. Age 12 years. That means it's probably pretty good stuff. Hmm, probably. Yeah. But, but you're right about the Resident Evil thing. This yeah. would make a tense, very, very tense game. And it would take it back to those survival horror element roots that everybody wants it to go back to. Right, because the mansion shit, that, that was creepy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's, like, the problem that people were having with Resident Evil 6 was... It's like fucking die. It's not Resident Evil. It's fucking it, Die Hard. Exactly. Yeah. With fucking zombies and monsters. Not saying I didn't enjoy Resident Evil Six. We actually played through that online, and it was it was fun. Yeah, I loved it. it was yeah, great. we even played through Ada's story, and God help us. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was just ridiculous. And didn't we play it on professional too? Yeah. Did we play on professional? I do believe we did, and it. Yeah, I, I just I hated it. So she's almost taking her titties out. Yeah. So oh, that's so, awesome. oh, yeah. It's a stupid prank to get and, naked in front of your friends. Yeah. And Mike's like, hey, hashtag is a selfie stick there. Yeah, and we do have like very much the uh, the tropey type of characters here. Uh, you know, Mike's kind of that uh, douchey popular guy. All right. Freddie Prince Jr. So, type of situation. Oh yes, yes. Here's he, your first choice. Uh, what you gonna do, brother? So I either have to go find the other assholes of my group, or I could go wake the drunk. Yeah, you can try to wake the drunk, or you can uh, find the other assholes. What are you thinking, man? Well, we, as we were doing tutorials earlier, we tried waking the drunk. Eh, it didn't work out so well. Shh. You're not supposed to tell everybody that I was having <laughs> troubles figuring out how to do this thing in the first place. All right. Because, well, uh, let's, wait, let's <laughs> wake the drunk anyway, because it's fun. All right, sure, yeah. I'm sure he'll get right up and do anything. Josh! No. Oh, no, fuck just, the drunk. And actually, he is on the uh, the show Mr. Robot right now. Is he airs now? on USA. Yeah, I was watching uh, I was watching wrestling the other night, and they had a, a preview for it. Yeah. Which, you know, yes, I'm sorry. I watch wrestling. And by watch wrestling, I mean I pretty much just fast-forward through the yeah. entire thing with yeah, the DVR. Yeah, th those yoga pants, though. Them yoga pants, though. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and th this nice, like, Christmas sweatshirt that she's got going on is also just really... It's see, really cool. Okay, okay, here's my first issue I see. Why would you go alone in the woods in the middle of the fucking night? Because she's so concerned about her sister, sir. Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Oh, right, shit. You do that shit. Oh, yeah, there you go. Huh. Yeah, like a baller. All right, so... Out. Yeah, you get to make a choice. So you either we play it safe or we say fuck it with our own lives. Are you a loose cannon, sir? I am a loose cannon. I'm okay with this. All right. At least you're uh, at least you're okay with your looseness of your cannon. Well, uh, don't tell the ladies that. <laughs> Ew, I would think it'd be worse if they were loose. <laughs> well, okay, Just fair saying. enough. J S and yeah, right but here. still, you're right about those graphics. Okay, oh, yeah, so absolutely. okay, so, so we've got follow footprints, 
I mean, they look like very heavy footprints, what I can tell. Or yeah. let's follow a random noise. I, You know, for some reason, I'm going to say I don't know why anybody would follow the noise when they could follow footprints. It makes more sense. Man, you, you, uh, but those are pretty heavy footprints. So I mean, And, could, and we were, well, we're chasing after a, a younger sister. Yeah, yeah. I, and I figure a younger sister's got a lighter weight. Yeah, yeah. Those look like they might have been, you know, committed by, uh, you know... Like uh, a slightly sort of, heavier gentleman. Yeah, some sort of Jason Voorhees-esque man. Mm-hmm. Yes. But still, let's investigate because it, it's better to be safe. So, sorry. Uh, out of curiosity, if it actually turned out that this game's villain, the murderer, was actually Jason Voorhees, would you just like straight shit your pants right now? More than likely. Yeah, like it's just like, oh my god, it's just, oh, oh. oh, hockey mask and everything and shit. Jesus, fuck shit, come on, lady. You really should not tell Jesus to fuck shit. That's not those very yoga nice. pants, though. I'm, I'm still never gonna get over those <laughs> this entire game. <laughs> You know what? You need to get over it, man, because she's got this awesome pink polar parka. That's what it says. It says, like, polar X on the back. It, it, it's totally yeah. like something you would buy out of Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> Dick's Sporting Goods. Okay. Uh, you know, I went into Dick's Sporting Goods the other day, and uh, I was looking for a... Uh, they have shirts that have, uh, like, certain boxing matches. They have the information on there, like Iron Mike Tyson versus James Buster Douglas, the fight where he got his fucking face okay that, that that sounds fucking cool i know but i went in there and i checked it out you know how much that damn t-shirt costs this is a t-shirt sir thirty dollars yeah okay is, so i have one serious legitimate question what's that why the fuck are we using a, a smartphone as a flashlight i mean what else are you gonna use like don't you ever do that like i know no, I no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, got a little jump scare going on there. Walk faster. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not and much still, faster. And still, that ass. Yeah, you know, she does have, like, a, a serious swagger hello, going on. Hello, hello. Oh, oh, look, oh. it's a shoe. No, it's it's a totem. It's your first totem. Do you know what totems do? Um, I figure they ward off the evil spirits. No, no, not exactly. Blah, 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 blah. It just, uh, it shows you uh, death. It's a death totem. Yeah, and it shows you a death that could possibly take place if you suck balls at this game. Okay, so yeah. in indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each so them pre peace foretells a possible future event. How you, pl how you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you all yeah. know totems, events of the past will become clear. And I don't know if you noticed who that was in that death totem. It looks like Beth. It looks like Beth. Hmm, so, so don't fuck up. Don't fuck up, because if you fuck up... Poor little Beth in her sweet hot yoga pants. It's gonna go down, down into the brink of fiery <laughs> deathness. But, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not a very good singer. My bad, you know. Uh, we're, we're horrible at it. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm sorry. Believe me, we're we're no, we're yeah, no freaking I, I, I epic not, singers. Yeah, it's true. I I can't even I can't even rap like Ego Raptor. Can't do none of that. So, <laughs> you know what? It's cool though. It's cool. I've come huh? to terms with it. Oh shit, huh? Oh. oh, oh. Look, look, it's giving you like the sweeping cinematic, like something's walking along that tree right there. Well, that and, doesn't like, make me feel any better, you. man. Yeah. You know. I mean, like well, I said, <laughs> I've avoided pretty much all. Like the only footage, footage. Ah, why is there a flamethrower? Oh, because it's just the ballish shit to do, man. You just gotta have a flamethrower. Like, okay. That's the way it goes. Obviously, you're in the setting of the movie The Thing. Hey, it's Hannah. Yes, it is Hannah. You know, and Hannah, for being kind of weird, she's, she's pretty hot, too, actually. Yeah, I know. You know, I like the long hair. Here, take my coat. I, I'm a sucker for long-haired girls. Yeah. And I know you like the uh, the dark hair as well. Ah, uh, okay. You know. Is Predator in this game now? <laughs> what the heck? Hashtag running! Come on, go. Get to the chopper. Go. You got to do it now. Come on, oh, go. come on, you fucking idiot. Oh, no, she dropped her phone. You got to... No, you got to go. You got to get to the chopper. God damn it. <laughs> oh, hey, she did drop the phone. Oh, yeah, she did Don't get the separated, you morons. No, 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 they're not trying. They're oh, not trying to get Jesus separated. Christ. They're going to uh, they're gonna run into some trouble. Because uh, oh, oh, we got a cliff here. Yeah. That, that presents quite an issue. It does present quite an issue. Look, there's the Predator, and he's coming after him. He's like, he's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Actually, oh, the, shit. the Predator would not kill two young, unarmed girls. The Predator has a code of honor. That he does. That he does. That's why, you know, Predator's awesome. Well, it depends on what movie. Cause some oh, movie. Yeah. there's Flamethrower again. Yeah. And then the sweet-ass shot of the sweet-ass. Yeah. 
And then, oh shit! Oh, oh hello shit. there! Oh, shit. You're gonna have to make a split decision. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Do you drop the bitch, or do you just like, uh, do you let go? Fuck it! Fuck it! Let what go! What are you gonna do? Ah, I don't know who that gentleman is. Well, he's trying to help. Ah, you. Fuck. He was reaching out, and you're dead. Hey, look at that! I got. Way to go, Kyle. Way to oh. go. The fuck was I supposed to do? Uh, I think you were supposed to. And do I something. I guess I killed two characters. Yeah, way to go, guy. Like, Ooh, well. Way to get this started. So, uh, now that we're done with the tutorial, I, I fucked do believe, up. I do believe that's going to be our very first episode. So, uh, next time on Super Smashers, am I right? <laughs> yeah, you are, and I've smashed that fuck up. Alrighty. On the next episode, we'll see ya.